Before we add our pictures to our website, uh, there are a few steps we need to go through to make sure they are optimized for uh, placement on the web. So you'll notice I have six images here on my desktop, JPEG images, and I have them all named something very simple, all lowercase, all one word, uh, killer whale, dolphin, sea lion, and so on. <clears throat> now, before I put these images into my images folder for my website, I need to make sure they are the proper size and have the, the proper settings for placement on my website. So to do that, I'm going to open each one of these images in Photoshop. Now I can simply drag one of these images onto the Photoshop icon and that will open the image. Or I can go into Photoshop and do a file open and locate the image. So here I have my, my image of a killer whale and I can do a number of things to this image in Photoshop if I want to add text or add different effects I can do that here. But Right now I'm just going to show you how to make sure it is the proper size and has the proper settings for the web. First we can go to image and image size and we can see how big this picture is. And it says it is 640 pixels wide and 480 pixels high. Now, depending on your use of this image, uh, you might want to adjust this size. Um, a very standard and <clears throat> uh, easy to uh, upload and download size is anywhere from about 300 to 400 pixels wide. So let's shoot for 300 pixels wide and click OK. And it shrinks our picture down. And so if what you're looking for is a, a larger picture to take up more of your website screen, then you might want to uh, adjust those dimensions accordingly. But to save bandwidth and loading times on your website, 3 to 400 pixels wide is a pretty good uh, size to shoot for. Once you have your picture the way you want, go to File and Save for Web and Devices. Here we get a preview of our picture and we have some options up here. We want to make sure if this is just a standard rectangular picture that it is selected to save as a JPEG. And we can also see our size uh, adjustments that we made. And if we click Save now, it's going to ask us where we want to save it. And I'm going to save it in my Images folder that is within my Ed421 folder. So I'll click my Images folder, click Save. And now, if I go into my Images folder, I have my Killer Whale picture. I'm going to do that with all of my images before I put them into my website. And that's a very important step. All of your images need to be in this folder before you start putting them in your website.